During the last 70 million years, when the Tethys Ocean was closing and the Asia and Europe were joining together, forming a supermass, Atlantic Ocean was forming. Iceland was separating from the Greenland, and that created, through the mid-Atlantic ridge opening up, the island we call Iceland. Volcanism was rife in this area, and is rife now even. You can see it erupts in the Grindavik, made the town uninhabitable for the people. And uh, through these eruptions, we know that when a plate moves, it has to accommodate the motion. We see the evidence in the position of the earthquakes. Earthquakes move in this uh, diagram I've made from the west toward the east. As one opening of the gap creates eruption, a transform fault in black uh, arrows has to transfer it to the next fault lines. These are different systems. We call them different systems. Vegetable system, Chrysovic system. Chrysovic system is the one that we are talking about now. So like a domino effect, when one moves, lava erupts through that fault line. The next one has to move also, accommodate the motion. And as you can see, it goes like a domino effect across the Iceland toward the east, separating these plates, Eurasian plate and North American plate from each other. Christovic volcanic system is actually the volcanic system which is taking all these movements, accommodating them through it, and has to transfer it to somewhere else. Transferment in that sense means opening up, and by opening up, it creates volcanism. It has done it in the past. We have seen evidence for it all through this, you know, slanted line. You can see Christovic is one of those systems. It reached once the vicinity of the Reykjavik, the capital of the Iceland, and uh, it can do it again. We see the Fegedisio system, and now movement through that toward the Grindavik, we can see it, and again, this movement has now is transferred again to the Christovic. Through this uh, mechanism, I like this chart to show you again. Christovic was active in the 12th century for 37 years, created the most huge fire because fire would mean eruption in that sense. Because the um, volcanic system is under very, you know, highly saturated bedrock, it created huge fires, phreatic eruptions. These phreatic eruptions are huge compared to the, uh, this little fissure compared to the person standing beside it is, is amazing. Something like what we see in the Reunion Island in the Atlant in the Indian Ocean or what we saw in the Cambre Vieja, hundreds of meter of, meters of the ash and lava erupt into the air. When it happens, it will be big. I even may reach the Reykjavik. I have a video I will show you that. Although in this video I've called it part of the Fekidesville system. When the mid-Atlantic ridge uh, reaches the Iceland, it has created several peninsulas. One of them is the Reckonus Peninsula, created by the volcanic system that you see the names of them here. They are technically similar to the bottom edge uh, structure, shear structures that we see in the rocks. Is the extension creating fault lines, and the fault lines through them the lava may erupt. We see them in the in micro scale in, in the rocks. You can make it with a plasticine if you have the time, a model of that. And the extension can create fault lines that the uh, um, lava can rise through them. In the case of the um, the systems, these systems are directly connected to the mantle. Fegardesvia volcano was a such a volcanic system. We found that with this discovery that this Fegardesvia was connected actually to the earth mantle through a dike. The dike is feed, fed by the mantle. And as the uh, eruption happens in this area in 2021 in Fegardesvia, 22 in the Meridil and Little Horto in the 2023, it may happen and extend to the years beyond. From 2025, will be a slight angle toward the east, uh, as you see in the uh, other systems parallel to it toward the east. And by 2030, it's quite possible that this system may reach the Reckoness or the suburbs of it. This is the day that you will see the volcanoes actually erupting inside the town or near the outskirts of the town. This is a scary scenario. And this is one of the several scenarios that may happen. This volcanic system may not reach as far as the Reykjavik, 
Uh, but in this model that I presented, if it reaches there, that will be just outskirts of the town. 